What's going on guys? So in this video we're going to be taking a look at an iPhone SE that doesn't really boot properly. Uh, it does boot up but it'll just randomly turn off, shows random percentages, things like that. And typically this is an issue with the gas gauge. Now sometimes it can be an issue further along in the board, it's usually like TriStar or something like that. But in this video, it's just a simple filter replacement. Uh, the filter gets broken next to the battery connector when you don't unplug it from the correct side and it breaks off the board. So it should be a really quick, easy micro soldering job to get into. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be using hot air. So that means I'm gonna have to take the whole board out just to make things a bit easier. Uh, typically you can get away with not using hot air if you are using a micro pencil or the micro tweezers, but today I'm just going to be using the cheaper Hakko T12 ILS tip, which is a bit too big. Uh, so using hot air is going to make it a bit easier to get that lined up in there. You'll see in a minute. Okay, so as you can see here, both the pads are still intact, uh, and we have a nice spot to solder to. So what we're going to do here first, we're going to put some nice flux on there and then we're going to tin the pads ready for the new filter. Uh, you can actually use a jumper wire if you wanted uh, but it's typically recommended to replace it with a filter because that's what Apple did and they're a billion dollar company they probably did it for some reason or another. Okay now it's time to grab my filter and I pulled this one off a dead iPhone 5 board uh, typically the filters for the gas gauge are mostly all the same on all the 5 series uh, but they are in different locations so you should really look it up online or in the schematic at least before you try it because uh, some of the components are actually capacitors and they won't work as a filter. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to tack down both sides of the filter and then I'm going to come in with my hot air and reflow it. The reason for this is because my iron is too thick to quite fit between the socket and the RF shield next to it, uh, if I sort of push it in any further it's going to melt the socket even more so using hot air makes it much easier to solder in and I don't have to worry about melting the connector. And last up I'm just going to run a continuity test on both sides of the filter going back to the gas gauge pin on the battery. And it all checks out, so yeah, quick job done, and the phone works again, which is great. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more repair videos, let me know down below in the comments. Till next time, see ya.